We're at Elevation Boxing and Fitness with the bully, Amber Brown. Thank you for the time. How you doing? Thank you. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing all right. We got Invicta FC 22 right around the corner. What are you, a straw weight or an atom weight? I couldn't make up my mind for a while, but I'm an atom weight. I tried straw weight. I felt big for 105. I tried straw weight out for my last fight, uh, but I didn't have to cut any weight for the fight. My opponent was humongous compared to me. She was just a lot bigger and stronger, so I kind of sat around and just weighed out all the pros and cons for both weight classes, and I'm just too small for 115, I feel like. I would rather gain some muscle for that weight class, so I just, I'm going to stay at 105. Yoder, you did get the early takedown first round. You had a lot of top position. Did you feel that strength weight difference right away? Definitely, yeah. I felt like her hips were really heavy, even though she was on bottom. I felt like I could easily get swept. That's kind of why the mo the whole first round was. I felt like we were mainly like hugging each other the whole time. But I just felt like if I if I do anything, I would have get swept or reversed. So I felt like I was grappling with Nico or Brenda, one of the bigger girls that I trained with. So she was big. The arm bar, you tried to roll out of it, a readjustment, and she she got you. Did you think you were gonna be able to get out of there? It looked like you gave the thumbs up for a moment. I did actually, because I felt like I was still okay and I could move around and possibly defend it still, but she made one little slight adjustment and I couldn't go anymore. I had a tap. Now, Ashley Yoder's gonna, or the, Ashley Yoder's who you lost, and now Ashley Cummins is who you're gonna be facing back down to 105. A little happier weight cut now after having been at 115. Yeah, it's good. You know, I've been on it for a long time, even before I heard I had the fight. So I'm in great shape right now. I feel really good. The weight cut is going perfect. What do you want to get done in this fight, returning to the division where you were the number one contender? I want to get back up there. You know, I want to prove, you know, I belong where I was at, you know, and I just want to get back on winning track. Two losses in a row is rough, so I've, I've been working hard to try to make sure that's not going to happen again. Do you hear the voices? Do you feel the pressure of that it is two losses in a row? Uh, no, I'm not trying to really focus on the two losses. I'm like, I'm going to go out there and win. So I'm just focused on this next fight, and I know I've been working hard, and I know it's all going to pay off next weekend. Now, one thing that I'm pretty sure has been adjusted is you had to be working on those arm bars as they've been giving you a fit. Yeah, I've been working on everything, really, you know, because it, it just so happens that it was two armbar losses in a row, you know. It was kind of different situations, so I know everybody's probably going to think they can just go armbar me, but it's okay. I mean, I've been working on everything, so we're, we're fully prepared for this camp, whatever this girl has to bring to the table. And what were the little things that needed to be adjusted? Some of the little things that you could have been able to get out of those, or... Just working different strengths. Plus, too, she was really strong, but I just feel like posturing up maybe like getting that back strength so i've been just doing a lot of strength and conditioning and since we have our own gym i still train at fit but we have our own gym now here in moriarty where we live but i'm just working out constantly every day all the time strength and conditioning and so i feel in great shape right now the gym our gym is helping me out as a fighter right we can see the gun show already where yeah. you're talking it's like you're flexing uh oh <laughs> This is the 105 shape, yes? Yes, I feel good. I, I felt strong at 115. I felt more filled out, and I did feel strong, but I just didn't feel that good in the fight. I feel better fighting at 105. Was there any difference fight night in lead-up to how you felt, or was it just once the action got going? Once the action got going. I was like, it was crazy because the I didn't have to cut any weight, so I felt amazing from that. The I didn't have to really replenish, you know... But once the fight started, and I think it was the whole first round grappling, I just didn't really probably control my breathing. So when we stood up, I was totally gassed. Like every muscle in my body was fatigued. So it sucked. Returning to 105, it's going to be a smaller opponent who kind of embodies that similar skill set and mindset as you do, wanting to be a bully almost in the fight. Yes. I actually, I never saw her in person I would expect us to be sort of similar in size since she's moving down I know she is shorter than me but yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be a dog fight how much do you want to make a statement now you've had the losses but you're returning to the division that you feel the best at that you you know almost became the champion at 
I am gonna make a statement. It's gonna be it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be really good. I'm gonna win devastatingly. Like even if it is decision, you know, I'm expecting it to go all three rounds, you know, because she's a, she's tough. She's a grinder. But I'm gonna work my hardest, you know, do whatever it takes to come out with that win because I do not like losing and I two losses in a row is horrible. So we're gonna get back on winning track next weekend. As we said, we're here at your gym. What is that like? Your gym, first off, you know, to hear those words. You've been, you know, training, you go different places so long. This one is your gym, your investment. It's awesome. You know, it's really cool meeting all these different people and helping them uh, accomplish their goals. But I feel like in the process of me coaching more, I'm just becoming a better fighter. So it's cool. We're here all day, other than when I have to drive down to fit to train. We're here all day every day training doing stuff helping other people so it's really really cool i was talking to your other half joe and the gym has been coming along and you guys are getting a lot of people to sign up were you guys even surprised at the success you've had here in the recent months of opening yeah it's it's going good we knew we were gonna do good just because there is a couple other gyms out here who aren't really open that much you know i mean three days a week or whatever people need something to do out here it's a small town there's nothing to do out here for the kids you know uh so yeah it i almost forgot the question but no it, it has been surprising because we knew it was gonna get off to a slow start and it kind of did but it's getting better and better like every week every month like it's just getting better and better so it's awesome we're gonna kill it we're not, gonna be successful not to mention up here in the mountains sometimes you do get stuck and you can't make it to albuquerque when it is the winter has that made it easier for you to be able to sustain training having another facility right here definitely yes because i still love my home gym fit nhb you know i was made there you know and i'll always be there but this gym is basically for us to have for when I'm done fighting for the community and it's and it also yes it really helps because sometimes it is hard to get down to fit twice a day we were going before so so much drive time so now it's a lot less and I can actually use that time to train and be here if we can't make it down to fit so it works out really well eight fights in your pro run does it feel weird though to ha say i have something i have something looking beyond fighting we know it'll come up but do you still feel kind of young in your fight career definitely yeah because i mean i i haven't even reached my prime yet but i you never know with fighting anything could happen in fighting you know you could my fight next weekend could be my last fight you know you never know what's going to happen so it's cool to have this to fall back on right away right now and as a martial arts journey, how do you feel you're just progressing your, yourself as a fighter in these recent months? Yes, I feel amazing. Like even my coaches say I look good. You know, everything we've been doing out here is working. It's working. I'm starting to find myself as a fighter and find my flow and be more relaxed. And it's coming along really, really well. You were so aggressive and with your mind set on certain goals over these last few months do you feel that you've almost become more comfortable now just in fighting rather than concentrating on one specific fight yes definitely because before i just cared so much about the one thing that i had in front of me or you know i cared so much about getting that belt or whatever now i'm just kind of like having that i don't care attitude and just having fun with it and it's working out now, for everybody that's up here in Moriarty that hasn't seen the gym, how can they get in contact with you guys? Call us at 267-2088. We have a Facebook page, Elevation Boxing and Fitness. And just stop in. It's right off of Old 66. So we're always here seven days a week. Heading back out to Kansas City on UFC Fight Pass for Invicta FC 22. How can the fans, first off, follow you on social media, keep up with you? They can find me uh, on Facebook at Amber the Bully Brown uh, or Twitter and Instagram at the Bully 505. Then them sponsors. Who do you think? Uh, okay, so uh, all my sponsors. I got Damage Control Mouth Guards, Trent Cotney, Melee Fighting, um, MMA, MMA Roadhog Racing, Chandra's uh, Therapeutic Massage and Fitness. Uh, who else am I forgetting? Oh my gosh. 
Uh, I'm sorry, you guys. There's just too many. But thank you. Fit and HB Elevation. Uma Fight Gears. Yeah, that's who sponsored me. Aardvark Painting. Rob Hamilton. I can't forget him. And I think I probably forgot like two more, but I'm so sorry. I love you all. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for the time, Amber.